Testimony has just ended into whether Texas executed an innocent man. At issue during this day one inquiry, was Todd Willingham wrongly put to death for the fire that killed his children? KVU political reporter Martin Bartlett is live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Martin? Terry Cameron, Todd Willingham, was executed for, convicted rather, and executed for burning down the house which killed his daughters back in 1991. Now, nearly 20 years later, many questions linger about the fire, his trial, and his eventual execution. All rise. Travis County District Judge Charles Baird began by denying a request from the Navarro County District Attorney to recuse himself from the court of inquiry. So testimony began shortly after 1.30 in Baird's courtroom, led by Attorney Barry Sheck of the Innocence Project. And they went on and executed Mr. Willingham without even addressing the merits. Much of the testimony presented on Thursday centered on scientific evidence, which was used to win a conviction at Cameron Todd Willingham's original death penalty trial. Given the science that we know today, false, misleading, and totally unreliable. Specifically, experts focused on the method used in 1991 of examining the markings which might have been left behind by a liquid uh, accelerant uh, at the scene where Willingham was convicted of setting the fire that killed his three young daughters. That accelerant is one of the keystones of the original prosecution. The irregular burning on the floor cannot be relied upon to tell you anything other than you've had a fire in this room. Without reliable evidence, attorneys argued no arson could be proven, and therefore Willingham shouldn't have been convicted, much less executed. Willingham's stepmother and cousin were present in the courtroom. They insist he was innocent. So does former Texas Governor Mark White, who offered a closing argument on Willingham's behalf. Willingham's ex-wife was not present. She was in Austin, though, last week for a motions hearing in the case. She believes Willingham's conviction should stand in the death of their three daughters. Amber would be 21 years old today. And the twins not seen. She and her attorney believe this court of inquiry is nothing more than a political attempt to put the death penalty on trial. Now, testimony concluded about an hour ago. Judge Baird will consider today's testimony and those exhibits which were entered into evidence. He will issue an opinion, we're told, within the coming days or weeks. Now, practically, a ruling in Willingham's favor would be seen as a big victory for death penalty opponents. Willingham's family hope that, or rather, hopes that this court of inquiry clears his name. We're live tonight at the Travis County Justice Complex. Martin Bartlett, KVU News. We'll continue to watch, too. Thanks so much, Martin. Willingham was executed in 2004 at age 36. He spent 12 years on death row after his conviction in 1992. At one point during his trial, he was offered a plea deal for a life sentence if he pleaded guilty. He refused, insisting he would not admit to something he had not done. He maintained his innocence until his death. Willingham's case gained renewed attention, renewed attention when an investigative report was published in The New Yorker, which questioned the arson evidence and the advances in fire science.